um, that was a shitty game. That was literally uh, a shitty game because I got home and I had to take a massive dump. So I just took my phone into the bathroom and uh, I flagged him from the bathroom. So there you go. So big game coming up in round number seven. Big, big game. All right. I get the white piece. I'm going to continue with my traditional A3. All right. I'm going to play A3. I got to have fun. Okay. Plays D5. Now I could play D4 and Mirror Magnus. Actually, this is what I think I played against him. Uh, I'm going to play Knight F3 though. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have one of these games where it's hard to be serious. Um, but I don't want to burn too much time laughing my, you know, what off. Uh, I'm going to play a London, maybe. This is actually almost identical to what we played in the SEC, where Magus had the white piece against me. I'm going to play a London with A3. Not that that does anything at all, but maybe C5 isn't as much of a move now, because I will have B4. I guess that makes some sense. Let's just go here and trade, I guess. It goes C5 here now. Takes is what I think I played. Um, is it, what are I, this is, I think takes and takes and C4. This is almost exactly what Magnus and I had in the SEC with colors reversed. And it's going to go like queen e7 here. Um, I mean, this is very, very balanced. Rook d8 is interesting. I did not expect that. Now I could play b4 here. Don't want to burn too much time. Takes is obviously completely fine. Bishop e2. It should be two seams flying, so if he takes, I just play rook takes c4. I mean, I always have queen c2 as well, so I'll take with the rook. I expected that. I guess... Actually, the rook doesn't belong on c4. No, I already misplayed this a little bit. Shoot. No, I already misplayed this quite a bit, actually. But I still have b4, maybe. Still kind of okay. He plays b5, which is interesting. I did not think... Now, do I go to... C I think I'll go to C2 so I can line up a double stack, either Queen C1 or Queen B1. But this is this is heading towards a drawage type of position. No, this is heading towards a drawage type of position already, and I'm not happy about it. This will go here anyway. I mean, uh. Knight D4 has to be played. Probably Bishop F3. No, wait, I have knight c6, actually. Maybe not so simple. Um, okay, so I have knight c6. I have knight b3, maybe, as a move. I also have bishop f3, which is incredibly dull and boring. But I think bishop f3, I'm... I really don't want to play because it's really flattening the board, but I think I have to or else I'm going to end up worse. And a draw is not great, obviously, but it's also not the end of the world, I guess you could say. It was 95. So Magnus is actually trying to play for more, I guess. I'll trade, go rook c1 here. Plays h6. Um, I think how I do this. I'll just go h3. I, I mean, I'm going to offer him a draw just to see what he wants to do. I just want to see, does he really want to play or does he... Yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it is. I mean, it's just very dry. What can I do? It's what it is. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I mean, I, what, am I, what am I supposed to do here? It's just zeros. I mean, maybe, I think what my mistake here was rook takes c4, because what happens is basically the rook is just on a bad square. Yeah, the rook is on a bad square here because what I really need in a perfect world is I need the knight here because basically the knight has much better scope, it, it, or not scope, but it controls b6 and it controls the e5 square. Like, I need the knight on c4, but I end up having to take with the rook. Maybe I should have gone queen c2 here or takes bishop e2 and knight c4 maybe. A little bit dank. Yeah, we don't want to see no draw. I mean, I ended up with the wrong piece on the square. That's all it was. Yeah, I end up with the wrong piece on c4, and then it's just, yeah, it's, yeah. Maybe queen b1 is better? 
Knight b7, rook fc1, but why is it so special? Mm, maybe this is better for white, but again, in a blitz game, very hard to play this and believe. I mean, what, actually, why is white? No, I mean, computer smoking something. This is just a draw. It's just too symmetrical. All the pawns, it's just symmetrical pawns, not a whole lot happening. Parham wouldn't offer a draw. Well, I mean, I have to decide there basically, like, do I want, I basically, the reason I offered him draws because Magnus and I, we both know this is a draw position. So I want to know, is he going to be happy with a draw? Does he want to, does he want to try to win? Because that also affects how I play strategically. Um, but yeah, just two flat symmetrical pawns. Not what I wanted. But on the bright side, I make sure Magnus cannot go 11 out of 11. I do protect my perfect score record because that also is important as well. So I do protect that by drawing the game.